Hey, how you doing? Welcome back to Web Squadron. As you all know, I like to use Autoptimize for my optimization uh, within my WordPress websites and to help with Elementor as well. Well, I use a setting where I remove the Google fonts, as you can see here. Why do I do that? It can make a difference of 20 to 15% on your mobile page speed score. Sounds crazy, but it is completely true. But then the problem does occur that when you do that, if you're using basic fonts like Roboto or um, Montserrat or Lato or whatever, sometimes they won't filter through onto your live site. So you can see them on the edit, but on the live site, they're not there. Well, what do you do about that? How do you preload it? Now, one of the ways you can do it is by using Elementor and you could use custom fonts and you could upload your fonts there. But there is an even easier way of how to do it. And that's what I'm going to show you now. Hey, I'm Imran Sadiq, Web Squadron. I'm here to help you understand and get the best out of Elementor and WordPress to help you, your clients and your businesses. Hey, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe and please do follow us on our social media um, because we have so much to share and I love you guys so much. Right, let's go back onto this. So hopefully you will have seen all to Optimize and I have the setting where I have removed Google Fonts. 20% uplift in your mobile page speed score. It makes a difference, guys. Okay, so the plugin I'm going to install, um, add new. So we're now, I've done a search for OMGF, and we are going to install the OMGF Host Google Fonts Locally plugin. It's completely free, 40,000 active installations. I am not affiliated to them. They don't even know who I am. They probably will now. But this is going to help you get your fonts that you're using on your website and preload them so you can get around the fact that you're not bloating your back-end system with them but you are preloading them so if you've got them in your edit they will now be present on your live website. So what you do is you install that. Once it's installed you will then go to settings and you go to settings and it's down here. Okay, optimize Google font. Right, so once you go into it like so you don't really need to do much, okay? You don't need to do much. What you do is you click this button here, save and optimize, okay? And the best time to do this, in my professional opinion, is after you've done the home page. Create your home page or your landing page, because you will have done your hero banner and you will have decided what fonts you're gonna use for your buttons, for your sections, for your text, and stuff like that. And usually when you go on to do other pages in your website, they, nine times out of ten, should follow the kind of font structure you had on your homepage, right? Or not, maybe not, maybe I'm just talking rubbish, but let's say they do. You then do your homepage, you published it, and you click save and optimize. What that will then do is pull through automatically the fonts you're using. Now, I don't know why it brought through Roboto Slab, because I'm not using that, but for some reason it did. Let me just move myself out the way. And it's brought through Roboto and Roboto Condensed, which we were using. Now, all I did after it's brought them through automatically for us, I just went through and decided which fonts do I want it to preload. I don't want it to preload normal 100 or 100 italic. 100 is the weight, by the way, because I wasn't using them on my home page or anywhere else on the website when, when I'm finished working on it or whatever it is. So I only brought through what I need. I didn't need any of Roboto Slab, so I just said unload all and it automatically ticked it. Again, same here. I unloaded the italics because I don't need it. And I only ticked the ones that I do need. And then that's it. You then just click save and optimize. And that's literally it. It has now brought through our fonts automatically, right? I mean, I say automatically. You do have to click the button. If you pay for the pro version, it will then automatically do it. But... Why pay for it if you can just get it for free here? You don't need to mess around with detection settings or advanced settings. Literally, that is it. You just click save and optimize. Pick what you need or you use. Click save and optimize again. And guess what? Now when I view my website in edit mode or live mode, the fonts I pick there or use will be seen on the live site. There's no issue. And this is sometimes a bit of a quicker way because I have nothing, I like the Elemental custom fonts option, but sometimes what you've got to do is you've got to get hold of the font family, 
and then you've got to kind of um, upload them, sometimes one by one, and you've got to make sure you pick the right weight and the right title and whatnot. This just kind of does it all for you. So, hey, I hope this really, really helps you. Okay, and believe me, it works, okay? Your fonts now, after you've removed them with Auto Optimize, and you should do that, when you use this, it will ensure those fonts are being preloaded and you're okay. And like I said, make sure you do not preload any fonts you do not use. Why? Because if you do, you're just going to be adding bloat back onto the system for no reason. Okay, I only pull through what you use. I hope that's helped you. Well, I know it helped me a heck of a lot when I started using it. But like, subscribe, please do follow us. I'm Imran Sadiq, Web Squadron, and I shall see you soon.